Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And let's begin with the burning question that everyone has been asking. Are skinny jeans still in? My answer to that is yes and no. Let's start with the skinny jeans that are completely outdated and is a no. We all know that skinny jeans had their big moment around the year of 2010. That was the ultimate look, the norm, and decision for almost all women. I was able to dig out my old skinny jeans. These were a little bit more high-waisted. My more low-waisted jeans are currently in storage. There's a reason why it just wasn't flattering on me, especially around the tummy area. I just had so much spillage. It was just creating that muffin top that no one really wants. Now the skinny jeans are very stretchy in material. They almost feel like athletic pants. The most popular OOTD of how everyone was wearing their skinny jeans with ankle booties, a slightly oversized jumper, and that was the it outfit for everyone. Ah, and those were the golden years of the skinny jeans. Every trend will eventually have its fall and we'll have to take a step down so that new trends can step into the light. And unfortunately, this is the year that skinny jean has taken its biggest fall. And so yes, this style of skinny jeans is outdated. But trends always have a cycle and I'm sure we'll see this style cycle back in in the future. In recent years, the high-waisted denim has been rising in popularity and I am for one love it and we have seen that the outdated skinny jeans has been evolving and modernized with a high-waisted fit high-waisted denims are my go-to denims now, this is my high-waisted skinny jean i love this so much because i love that the high-waisted pants just sucks your tummy in i would say that you could still pull off this high-waisted skinny denim in the upcoming season if you just know how to proportion it correctly with the tops and by that i mean that ever since the pandemic everyone has been wearing sweatshirts and sweatpants and since then the fashion trend has been more about the loose fitting and relaxed look now the tip here is to wear a top that's a little bit more oversized and fit just slightly oversized and this will create a casual and a relaxed look it could be a t-shirt a button down or even a knit i will style this with knee-high boots a slightly oversized t-shirt or maybe a knit a cardigan and a baseball cap and that's how i will modernize it Many of you might still have the bootcut or the flare denim. If you save those denim, then you are in luck because those are coming back in style. Luckily, I have mine saved from many, many years ago and it still fits. Save me a little bit of money in buying new denim, which is always great. Even though the bootcut and the flare has been modernized to what they're calling now a bootcut flare. With those, there's one thing to keep in mind. We are seeing that the top part is more form fitting. It's a little bit more exaggerated on the flare. This type of denim is gonna give you that illusion of an elongated leg. Now that I've gone through most of the old styles that we're familiar with, I'm gonna go into the new trends now. And the one thing I do wanna point out, they're dictated by pop culture, fashionistas, influencers, or even fashions before us, and so much more. The point is you should buy and wear what makes you happy and what makes you the most comfortable and beautiful in. I love my high-waisted denim because it makes me the most comfortable in. Being the age that I am and after having two kids, I need some help in sucking in my pooch. These high-waisted denim does the job. So this is what makes me the most comfortable in and trends will not dictate what makes me feel the best. The other denim styles that I would still keep in my closet for the upcoming season is this classic straight leg. I chose to keep these in my closet because they are still a very relaxed style. It will still go with the loose fitting trend that is very in for the upcoming season. What I'm trying to point out is don't let trends dictate your entire wardrobe. Next denim trend that I think is the perfect blend of three of my favorites 
They are my love for the high-waisted denim. Second, classic straight leg. Third is wide leg. This denim is called the barrel denim. This denim sits high-waisted and is slightly form-fitting at the top, but it also widens out and tapers at the bottom of the leg. The reason why I don't own this style as of yet is because I have a very petite height, I'm about 5'1". To find one that fits me just right in length without having me to hem it has been so challenging. I did find one that the brand A Goldie made, but it was just sold out everywhere. With this type of jean, you can't hem because if you do hem it, it just ends up looking like a white leg denim. While I'm still searching for the perfect one myself, I pulled up some of the looks that I'm loving for this style. I also found some options that if you guys are interested in buying this style, I will link it in the description box below. The trouser trend has been around for a few seasons now it's trickled its way into the denim styling of Y legs and what they call the puddle jeans. With this denim, it sits low waisted. It is longer, creating a pull effect around the ankle, almost like it's dragging on the floor. For myself, I don't want my denim to drag on the floor. I've worn that type of styling with the denim dragging on the floor when I was in high school. It was just a pain in the butt. Our heels get stuck in the holes and it was just not comfortable and also was pretty dirty. I'm gonna avoid that. I hem my denim to the length of where it's just like a quarter inch above the shoe line. Currently I have two white legs and two puddle jeans. I plan to wear them with sneakers or with sandals when it gets a little bit warmer. If you like the look of the white leg and puddle jeans and want to wear them with heels, you totally can. I would suggest a pointed shoe just because it'll elongate your legs even more. Here are some looks that I love with this type of Denim. The next denim trend that is on the rise is called the two-tone denim or also called the color block denim. I have not hopped on to this denim trend and I don't think I will. I also don't project this trend to go beyond one season so it's not something I want to invest in. With this color block trend you'll see a variety of designs. There may be some with patchwork or you'll see a stripe going down the side of a leg. Some of these designs will contour and elongate your legs depending where they are placed. To clarify with the two-tone denim, that is something that I love. When I say two-tone, I mean you can wear your denim pants paired with a denim shirt or you can wear denim pants with denim shoes. That would look really good as well. I love the denim on denim. I've said it in all my other videos that I've done before, which I'll link one above. I feel it's a classic look that anyone can pull off. It's just a very casual look and you can also dress it up with some accessories. The split hem denim is a trend where the slit is placed at the bottom of your leg making it a pretty cool piece, but for me, this doesn't feel like a trend that will last another season. Therefore, I am skipping this trend, but here are some looks that I found online. The last two trends are by far my favorite. As many of you know from my recent videos, I love and have an obsession with cargo pants. The trend with the cargo denim, they are to sit low-waisted, and have a baggier style. But of course, the baggy look is just not for everyone, including myself. Currently, I don't have a pair of cargo denims. I've always wanted to add one. I've just never taken the plunge. With everything I've been seeing online, I just took the plunge recently and bought myself a pair of cargo denims on Zara's. I should be getting them in soon and I'll make sure to style those in my upcoming videos. If you do want to get that alert instantly, then subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you get that notification of when I do post it. The last trend are not pants, but they are my favorite and that is, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been trying to search for the perfect mask skirt for myself. This trend was just so especially hard for me to find the perfect fit because of my height. The day I found the maxi skirt that fit me the best, I bought all three colors, the white, the blue denim, and the black. So this is how the denim skirt fits me. Here are some looks that I've seen online that I absolutely love. This wraps up today's video. My name is Ying for those of you who are new. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and leave a comment. It'll really help me out with my channel. If you're into fashion and lifestyle content, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.
the trouser, the trouser, the trouser, the trouser, the okay, so trouser, the trouser. What is wrong with me? Right.